This figure shows small sample tables that will be used in the following sections to explain the main types of joins. As a preliminary, you can observe the following. Order 8 does not have a customer master record. Customer Tom does not have any orders. State Texas does not have a description. No customer resides in Alabama. There are different types of joins. The inner and outer joins are similar to other database management systems. Others are specific to SAP HANA. You can review the typical use case for each of them. This figure explains how each type of join behaves depending on the type of information model in which it is used. You can come back to this table later on when you know more about attribute, analytic and calculation views. The inner join is the most basic of the join types. The figure illustrates the behavior of inner joins in analytic views. When design time filters are used, they are always applied before the join is executed. The figure displays left outer joins in attribute views. The figure illustrates the behavior of left outer joins with design time filters. The figure illustrates the use of left outer joins in analytic views. Right outer joins are rarely used. The number of records in the result set is determined by the number of records in the right table. This means that if there is a 1 is to end relationship, the number of records can be greater than the number of records in the left table. The figure illustrates the use of right outer joins in analytic views. The referential join is semantically an inner join that assumes that referential integrity is given, meaning that the left table always has a matching entry in the right table. It can be seen as an optimized or faster inner join where the right table is not checked if no field from the right table is requested. In analytic views, referential joins are only executed when fields from both tables are requested. If at least one field is selected from the right table, it will behave as an inner join. If no field from the right table is selected, it will behave as a left outer join. From a performance perspective, the left outer join is almost equally fast as referential join, while the inner join is slower due to the join always being executed. Referential joins must be used with caution since they assume that referential integrity is ensured at all times. If you consider a join between a fact table and an attribute view, keep in mind that Facts without corresponding attributes violate referential integrity, while attributes without facts, for example, a customer without an order, do not. Using referential joins in a context where referential integrity is not ensured might lead to different results depending on whether you select columns from the right table or not. The figure illustrates an example of referential joins in analytic views.
The figure shows the features of text joins. The figure is a simplified example of text join. Depending on the end user session language, the DESE column will display the product description in English or in German. The temporal join is used on date columns with a from and to date. Temporal joins can be useful to manage time-dependent attribute views. However, they can have a negative impact on performances. A star join is only available in calculation views. It is used for data organized in a star schema. The fact table for a star join can be any type of input node. However, only calculation views of data category dimension are allowed as input nodes for dimensions. The type of joins between the fact and dimension tables within the star schema can be defined in the star join node. The available joins are as follows. Referential join that is supported from SAP HANA SPS09. Inner join, left outer join, right outer join, text join. Spatial data modeling is covered in a dedicated lesson. From version SPS09, a new feature in SAP HANA Studio suggests the recommended join type and cardinality based on an analysis of the tables that are joined together. This analysis is performed at the moment you define the join. If the content of the table evolves after that, the cardinality you had defined might become wrong. When you need measures from more than one table, it may be tempting to join two analytic views. However, avoid this type of join for performance reasons. It is more beneficial to use a union in a calculation view. It should be noted that technically, a union is not a join type. The figure displays the various features of unions. The figure illustrates an example of standard union. The choice between a standard union and a union with constant values depends on the data you are using and the way you want the end users to report on data. If it is more beneficial to present different measures in different columns, you can use union with constant values. On the contrary, if it is easier to present measures in a single column and differentiate them with an attribute, then use the standard union.